Three, two, one, go. Nagoya, 360. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my day number three in Japan. So right now, my cousin and I are walking to the famous Nagoya castle. Um, it takes around 30 to 40 minutes. And we're going to go there, have a look, like maybe walk around a little bit and then go shopping. Anyway, this is the scenery of the University of Nagoya or Nagoya University rather and yeah walking to the train station right now hello everyone so right now we are under the Nagoya University station um, this is station number 18 the subway station and my cousin and I just bought a ticket this is an all-day ticket it, all, it can be used for the subway only and for 740 yen which is around $10 Australian not too bad actually um, how, however this is just for the day right weekday right for the weekend it costs cheaper it's um, 600 yen yeah she was like yeah 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 give the right information so we're going to catch this subway and then going to exchange and then go to a temple so I'll see you guys right there So right behind me, we have come to a Buddhist temple, it's called Usikanong and it looks so beautiful, isn't it? And she, she said like the last time that she came here, there was no flea market but luckily we came here today on Thursday and they have like flea market all around, they sell everything like from furniture to clothes to like some food as well and I'm going to take you around. <laughs> So about 10 or 15 minutes ago, we went inside the temple to pay our respect, to do some good praying, asking for blessing. We bought some incense, some candle, and we light them up. And just over there, as you can see, um, me and my cousin, we all did that. And then after that, we um, did the gong banging, which again, asking for good luck and blessing, we did it. And then we banged the gong three times, which is right up there at the top. And then I bought some lucky charm and right now we're just looking around at the temple and see the view As I told you before, there are flea market down there. It's such a beautiful place You can see all around me we are in a shopping district right now um, They sell a lot of souvenirs um, local specialty, especially dessert, and there's a lot of um, clothing store as well, just like along the way there. It is a really wonderful view. What? What is it? What are those? So right now I'm in front of a very famous. Um, Fish cake, not fish cake, I don't know what it's called. Um, I ordered the red bean version. Um, this is what it's, sim it's similar. 
This one is really similar to the Korean version but apparently my cousin told me that they sell a really good one here and it's quite popular as well. Um, there was a long queue before me earlier and it's still hot. I cannot wait to taste it. The shop is nearby the temple that we just went earlier. So let's taste it. Like, uh, mm, mm. Oh, really good. It's so sweet. The outside is very crusty. Oh, it's just delicious. So when you're in Japan, you come to eat Japanese food, right? But my cousin, she's like, no, today I want to eat uh, Indian food and then we come here for Indian food. So right now we at this restaurant, it's called Inpal. It's a combination of Indian food and Nepal food. And we ordered some butter chicken. So I cannot wait to eat that. And yeah. So we just finished our meal earlier for lunch. We had Indian food. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Actually, she really like she recommended it, and we ordered the extra cheese naan. That was like five dollars worth the money. That was like, oh my god, butter chicken and everything. That was just so good. Um, we couldn't finish it, so the bill ended up with um, eighteen hundred yen, which is over twenty bucks Australian dollars, and that was worth the money. So right now we just like go around and have a look at the shop again. Look, it's the uh, Alice in Wonderland inspired. It took us around 30 minutes to find it, but finally we found it. I get to take some photos and videos. Right now we're going back to the train station to go to the Nagoya castle. Hello everyone, so on my right side, that is the Nagoya castle. Right now we're trying to find the main entrance. I apologize for the screen. I need to clean it well because it looks a bit smoky at the moment. But yeah, it's so beautiful, the scenery. Everything's so green. My cousin told me that in spring, everything, they have flowers like sakura and like purple flowers as well. It's hanging from the ceiling. So it looks so beautiful, but right now it's summer time. Everything is quite green, so yeah. I picked the wrong time. It's quite hot at the moment. It is so freaking hot and super sunny. Um, right now we're queuing to get some photo with the, um, the samurai, the performers. And yeah, they're dressing up right there. It's quite a long queue, but it's alright. Um, so right there, I don't know, wait, I'm trying to find, see, the castle behind me, currently it's closed because they're doing some maintenance. So they close up the entire castle. Normally my cousin told me that um, you are allowed to go in, like over there, like right to the top to see like the golden fish. But right now, unfortunately, since they're doing like all the maintenance and everything, we couldn't go in. But it's alright, I, I might come back like in a few years because this one they say they will close down for like three years. So if you guys watch this, count three years from the day that I post. Currently it is um, June 2018, so three years from now, 
you can come back and visit. I just finished taking photo with the samurai characters. It was amazing. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Um, she took it. Um, we told them that I came from Australia and they were like, yes, I went to Fremantle. So yeah, free yo. Um, so hot. So I'm thinking of buying some drinks. Let's cool down a bit. So this is going to be my first time buying stuff from the vending machine in Japan. I'm so excited, but let's see how it goes. Come. Wait, put the money in. 